On February 22, 2024, the sun emitted an extremely strong solar flare. It reached its peak at 5.34 p.m. Eastern Time. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, which watches the sun constantly, captured an image of the event. In this video, we will talk about this recent solar flare that occurred, which was the strongest in six years. We will explain what solar flares are, how they are detected and measured, what impact this event has on Earth and its environment, how they compare with other historical flares, and what they tell us about the sun's activity and future. So, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos like this one. What exactly is a solar flare, and how did this recent X6.3 flare happen? A solar flare is a sudden and intense burst of radiation from the sun's surface, caused by the release of magnetic energy from sunspots. These sunspots are dark and cooler areas on the sun that have very strong and twisted magnetic fields. Sometimes, these fields become unstable and snap, releasing a huge amount of energy in the form of light, heat, and particles. This is what we call a solar flare. The recent X6.3 flare was the third and the most powerful flare in 24 hours from the same sunspot, dubbed AR-3590, which was located near the sun's equator. This sunspot was very active and unstable, and it produced a series of flares that ranged from C-class to X-class. X-class flares are the most intense type of solar explosions, and they are classified by their peak X-ray flux. The higher the number, the stronger the flare. However, this recent flare had a peak flux of 6.3 watts per square meter, which means it was 6.3 times more powerful than the minimum X-class flare. It was detected, measured, and analyzed by various instruments and observatories, such as NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, which captured stunning images and videos of the flare in different wavelengths. The flare lasted for about 10 minutes, reaching its peak at 1128 UTC. It had a broad spectrum, emitting radiation from radio waves to gamma rays. It also had a complex shape, consisting of multiple bright loops and ribbons that connected different regions of the sunspot. So how did the X6.3 flare affect Earth and its environment? Well, the good news is that none of the flares launched coronal mass ejections, which are clouds of plasma that can damage satellites and power grids. However, the bad news is that the flare still caused some disturbances on the sunlit side of Earth, such as radio blackouts and geomagnetic storms. Radio blackouts are caused by the ionization of the upper atmosphere by the X-rays and ultraviolet rays from the flare. This creates a layer of electrons that blocks the radio signals from reaching the ground or bouncing off the ionosphere. These blackouts can affect communications, navigation, and broadcasting systems, especially those that rely on high-frequency or short-wave radios. This recent X6.3 flare caused a severe radio blackout, rated as R3 on a scale of R1 to R5, according to NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center. This means that the blackout lasted for more than an hour and affected most of the sunlit hemisphere. Geomagnetic storms are caused by the interaction of the solar wind and the Earth's magnetic field. Solar wind is a stream of charged particles that flows from the sun at high speeds. When a solar flare occurs, the solar wind becomes faster and denser, and it carries some of the magnetic field from the sunspot. This can disturb the Earth's magnetic field, creating currents and fluctuations that affect the magnetosphere and the ionosphere. The geomagnetic storms can also affect the auroras, the compasses, and the power grids. However, the recent X6.3 flare caused a moderate geomagnetic storm, rated as G2 on a scale of G1 to G5, according to NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center. This means that the storm lasted for several hours and affected the high-latitude regions, where the auroras were visible and colorful. Now let's see how the X6.3 flare compares with other previous and historical flares. Well, the X6.3 flare was definitely one of the most powerful flares ever recorded, but not the most powerful. The most powerful flare in history was the X28 plus flare that occurred on November 4th, 2003, from the sunspot AR 
10,486. This flare was so strong that it saturated the X-ray detectors and its true peak flux could have been much higher than 28 watts per square meter. This flare also launched a massive coronal mass ejection that caused a severe geomagnetic storm on Earth, rated as G5, the highest level possible. The X6.3 flare was also not the most powerful flare in the current solar cycle, which began in 2019 and is expected to reach its peak of activity in the next few years. The most powerful flare in this cycle was the X9.3 flare that occurred on September 6, 2017, from the sunspot AR2673. This flare also launched a coronal mass ejection that caused a strong geomagnetic storm on Earth, rated as G4. However, this was the most powerful flare in the last six years, since the X9.3 flare in 2017. It was also the first X-Class flare in 2024, and the third X-Class flare in this cycle. This flare shows that the Sun is becoming more active and unpredictable as it enters the phase of solar maximum when the sunspots are more numerous and complex. The solar activity follows an 11-year cycle, which is determined by the reversal of the Sun's magnetic poles. The current cycle, known as Solar Cycle 25, is predicted to be similar to the previous cycle, Solar Cycle 24, which had a peak sunspot number of 116 in 2014. The X6.3 flare is a reminder of the sun's power and variability, and how it can affect our planet and our lives. The sun is not a constant and stable star, but a dynamic and complex system that undergoes cycles and changes. It is also the source of life and energy for Earth, and we depend on its light and heat for our survival and well-being. However, this event is an opportunity to study and explore the sun's physics and behavior, and to improve our models and predictions of solar activity and its effects. It is also a warning and a preparation for the future as we face the risks and benefits of solar flares and their impact on our technology and society. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them. And if you want to see more videos like this one, Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. See you next time.